Obviously, YouTube is for buying blimps. Uh, and this video is kind of for like the beginner barbers. Uh, I'm gonna be showing y'all what y'all need to get started and what kind of clippers, trimmers, uh, shavers, and what kind of products y'all need uh, before you have to cut your first client. So to begin barbering, it's not really like, uh, you don't really need like so many things. You kind of just need your clipper, trimmer, and shaver, and a little bit of product to it. I'm about to show you right now. Um, I am gonna show you what kind of trimmers and clippers y'all should get starting off. Uh, and then over the time, you can uh, move on to more professional and more advanced clippers or trimmers, etc. All right, child, so obviously the first thing you're gonna need is a clipper. Right now I'm rocking with the Walk Corded Seniors and the Walk Corded Magic Clips. Uh, the Walk Corded uh, Seniors was my first clipper that I ever got, and then this was my second one. Um, if I were to choose uh, between one of these uh, for a beginner barber, I will go with the, the Walk Magic Clips, just because it has a, um, the, the staggered tooth blade, and I'll show you what that is. All right, child, so as I can tell on the Wall Magic Clip, it has a, they have a longer tooth and a smaller tooth, and it just repeats um, throughout the blade. And then right here on the, on the Wall Seniors, they're all the same size, the bottom blade, uh, which is the cutting blade. So it is the same uh, length, which is in these, it has a different pattern. And I feel like it's better for fading so I do recommend this one other than this one for starting off. So um, some barbers do recommend y'all to go for a corded one, uh, a corded clipper, which I feel like, yeah, you can go for a corded, a, a corded clipper, but then again, the cord is gonna get in your way. And I feel like if you just go with the Magic Clip, which is around $80, um, it's way cheaper than the corded uh, seniors. And I believe the corded uh, Austin Fast Feeds which um, those two are great clippers, but if you want to get a, a cordless one, go ahead and pick this up. It's about $80 on Amazon. If I was going to tell someone to start cutting hair, I would recommend the Wall Magic Clip just because it's cordless, it's light. Uh, like I said, the Tiger Tooth Blade, uh, your face is going to come out a lot better. And you're not going to have to worry about no cord or nothing like that. It's literally cordless and it's light for your, for your wrist. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the trimmer. Uh, I don't recommend this one for a beginner barber just because it's so expensive. Uh, I do recommend, I'm going to put some pictures right here, uh, which one I do recommend, which is the Andes Slim on Pro or the Andes T Eyeliner. Those are great clippers. I feel like they're probably going to get you the same result as this one. Um, it depends how you set it. If you want to zero gap it, then I feel like that's going to get you even better results. But um, once, you, once you start cutting for a while, you can move up to this one or other uh, more expensive uh, trimmers. I started off with the Andes Slim on Pro just because it was um, it was thin, um, it was uh, light, and I feel like it was just a great overall uh, trimmer for starting off barbers, which I do. Um, but I think you should also take a look at um, the Andes T eyeliner. Um, just do your reviews on it, um, and then you can decide from there. All right, so moving on to the shaver. Uh, I do have the wide shaver. Some barbers don't like the shaver just because they, they say it breaks a lot and every time you drop it or whatever, it breaks and you have to always buy replacement replacement blades for it or the foil. Uh, but for me, uh, I've been having this shaver ever since I started and I, I've dropped it before and picked it up and it still works just fine. So um, I really don't see why they say that. But I mean, this is a great shaver. Um, also, if you want to do your review on the Andes shaver, I've never had one of those, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, it works just fine too. But I mean, for me, I um, I recommend the uh, wash shaver. All right, class, so we're gonna move into some other things other than clippers and trimmers. Uh, we're gonna move on to our shears. Um, Y'all do need a pair of shears and a pair of uh, thinning shears. Um, not necessarily thinning shears when you begin, but definitely, um, uh, regular shears in the case your, um, your client wants to trim on the top you can go ahead and do the trim with this and then with the thinning shears that's kind of for barbers that already know what they're doing and um, just know how to uh, uh, thin out the hair which is you're gonna get your comb and then you're gonna go to the same speed as your comb if you want to go fast then you know that's how, that's how you thin out your hair uh, or thin out your client's hair and it kind of just, um, instead of using a guard, you can use this and it's going to do the same job. 
um, and probably even better than the guard. Um, with this, it takes off every other hair. All right, y'all. So as you can see right here, it has spots um, or gaps in between the blade. So it kind of cuts every other hair. So it's great for uh, texturing uh, the hair or actually um, blending with it. Um, I use this in every client. I feel like it's a must and y'all should definitely pick up a pair. All right, so moving on to the uh, combs. You do want a regular comb and then a clip over comb. Uh, a comb for clip over comb. And then you do want a comb kind of like this one, just so when you're fading, you can actually brush the hair. Or also, that brings us to the brush. You want to have a brush um, in every haircut or use a brush in every haircut, just so when you're fading or when you're cutting the hair, you can brush the hair and the hair actually falls off, it's already cut, so you know what you're cutting. Uh, so make sure you always have a uh, brush. Yeah, so you also um, should have a, uh, a brush for your clipper, so when it gets dirty, you can just brush it off. You shouldn't use the same brush you use on your clippers on your client. All right, so that brings us to, a, uh, to our water sprayer. Um, you should have this when you're cutting the top, you want to cut it all wet. So make sure the hair is all wet and they can proceed to cutting the hair. All right, so, and then another thing um, is that you should have some, some type of clip oil. Doesn't matter what kind, just buy yourself a clip oil. And what you do is you just put in three spots or four spots, whatever you design. And you want to apply it about every other, not every other haircut, about every, after every four haircuts, I'd say. Um, you don't gotta put it every time you cut it someone up. I feel like it's a waste of oil and you don't really need it. So you wanna put it right here in the side, in the corners, both corners, in the middle, and over here on the other side. And then just let the clipper run, move the lever, move the lever a little bit, and then you should be good. All right, so some other things, is also some clubman powder. And then our, um, our, uh, our neck duster. Even after after you're done cutting uh, the person's hair, you want to dust them all off, make sure there's no hair on them. All right, so another thing is make sure to uh, dust your client off before you take any kind of pictures. Um, the reason for that is just it presents your work better. Um, people are gonna think you're clean, um, and you should be clean. They shouldn't think you're clean, they should know you're clean. Uh, so yeah, just um, dust off your client every time. And even if when you're cutting, you stuff them off, you know, stuff them off too when you're cutting the hair, um, just so they won't be all itchy throughout the haircut. And that'll just be so uncomfortable for them. All right, so this is a must have. Don't even start cutting hair uh, before you have this. Um, cool care, every time you cut someone up, spray it, spray the clipper, trimmer, and shaver. Um, every time in between haircuts. So you cut someone up, spray, cut them up. Uh, you cut that person up, spray it. Don't ever use the same clipper on someone else if you didn't spray it. All right, so your next thing is obviously gonna be your, your cards. Um, make sure to get one through eight. And also make sure to pick up the one and a half and the half card. I would go over the razors, but I feel like for beginner barbers, they shouldn't use that yet until they're more experienced. So basically that's really all you need to start beginning cutting hair. Uh, like I said, you don't need that much. You just need the, the specific things. And then throughout, um, you know, your, your career, you can buy more things like product. You want a mirror just for the client to look at their hair um, after they're done. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, it was just a couple of things. Um, if you like the video, just make sure to um, uh, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment um, saying what you think about this. If y'all need any help fading or anything like that, uh, just let me know, DM me on Instagram. It's gonna be right here. But yeah, with that being said, it's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, Till next one, peace.